the map in the blue. It is Furious Gaming with Kobu on Rhaegar, Anaxandros on Johanna, Nit on Sonya, Guelo on Jaina, and Bishop on Tyrael. And their opponents on the right side of the map in the red. Complexity with Jaximus on Zeratul, Hans on Liara, Caterpillar on Arthas, Trummel on Raynor, and Blinks on Malfurion. So this game has now started complexity, right now occupying mostly the, uh, what looks like the northern side of the map, but now rotating down, we do have what appears to be a bush party over here in the lower center for Furious Gaming, hoping to maybe have one stray hero enter into that area and they can jump on and engage. Well, right now we have Sonya going ahead with her Ancient Spear, getting in there. They're going to clear this very, very quickly, but all five in the middle here for Furious Gaming. So no one up top or down bottom to help clear those lanes and soak experience. So for the time being, it should be, uh, unless somebody makes a you know major mistake, it should be a pretty clean game for starts. There's going to be a lot of soaking of experience, just trying to get all the different abilities that you can. Um, but you got to be careful because these guys, they said they had a lot of tricks up their sleeve. Furious Gaming did. Maybe they're going to have something uh, pretty exciting early on. Yeah, maybe they will. We'll see about that. You know, they've got a lot of health to work with, a good amount of damage and mobility as well. So. Uh, we'll see. They're going to go ahead and capture that watchtower and continue to rotate around, looking if they can get any pickoffs. And now the temples are about to activate in about 10 seconds. Now, typically, oh, we have a takedown oh, already. They're beautifully Sonya. done. Sonya goes down. Uh, temple's about to activate. Uh, typically, we have one team take one temple, the other team take the other, but you got to be careful. You, you lose one or two heroes early on, uh, and then you can end up losing both those temples. Yeah, and if you do that, you're going to be levels behind and possibly lose the next temple, and then it can start to spiral out of your control. So we'll see if these guys fight heavily over one temple or split these up. And as you can see now, still a little bit of soaking down here in the lanes. Um, you do have to take out those neutral minions there that do spawn around the temple. That always gives a little bit of a defender's uh, disadvantage, if you will, down in that area. If you're trying to fight off uh, these statues that come to life and then another uh, team or even one player just comes in and does some damage to you. Well, right now we do have Complexity coming up, attacking this top shrine a little bit. Great micro here by Trummel and Raynor. We do have Zeratul blink out, but lots of damage being put done, really utilizing Raynor's high damage and range. Yeah, and that's one great thing about Raynor is because he can poke in uh, and still take a decent amount of damage while trying to get away. Uh, it's definitely great for something like that. It looks like now the top uh, shrine over here for Furious Gaming is being occupied, but now Complexity does manage to drive them back. Well, that's really good for them. You know, they it did take a lot of the uh, bottom as well. So right now we see Complexity taking a level advantage already very early into this game. Yeah, and that's pretty huge. Uh, level 4 to level 6, although just now getting to level 5, but still a pretty big deal when you're this early on into the game. We'll see if they can start to balance this out. You really want to watch for that level 10 where their heroic abilities kick in. That's right. Level 10 is really where things start to change. If someone gets level 10, you cannot fight against them. So. Uh, let's see if they can get to that level 10, possibly before the next shrine. All right, we have a mercenary camping taken down here. The Bruisers, these guys are great for pushing lanes. Uh, and this is going to be uh, look, what looks like to be the first takedown here for a camp in the game. But also at the bottom right, I believe we also have some action down there as well at the camp. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go ahead and take their Siege Giants right away. This is becoming pretty popular within the professional hero scene. Get that right off the bat after those first towers. But in the meantime, Furious Gaming taking those top Bruiser camps, it's going to give them a strong push, but those will be taken. Oh, they're saving it yeah, for the next shrine. Beautiful it. move. Okay, so let's explain this for just a second. Why, why would you not want to take that right away? You, you want to push the lane very quickly, right? No, you wait until the exact moment when the shrine should be spawning. Because this is in the top and the next shrine that spawns is in the bottom, it makes it difficult for the other team, right? They have to defend at the top, but meanwhile try to prevent you from doing anything there at the bottom of the map. Well, right now we do see down at the bottom complexity really pushing hard here with these Siege Giants getting one of the towers down the gate as well. We do have Furious Gaming coming down, but Sonya looks like she is going to fall. Yeah, nice take down there on Sonya. Uh, meanwhile, up here, it looks like it's going to be up to Raynor to try to push back this attack up here at the north. And that was, again, a very good job there by Furious Gaming. I like the strategy. I guess the question we got to ask ourselves is how will the rest of their execution be in this series? All right, well, it looks like the bottom temple is going to be activated pretty soon, in about 10 seconds till it goes online. Already complexity as Lyric down bottom, clearing these waves, getting ready to take it. 
Complexity now moving in. Nope, they're almost level 10. So it's really, there's not much time left for Furious Game to try to do much over here until they're really unable to engage entirely and have to play full on defense. Well, right now we do have Furious Gaming going down, taking this temple for the time being. Rainer still isn't down for Complexity, so they are waiting a little bit. Starting to walk forward now with Arthas and the Skeleton King. Nice Blizzard comes down. Uh, as you can see now, Leor uh, going ghost right through here. And it looks like Jada's going to be in a lot of trouble. Jada's running away. Jada does go down. Johanna moving in here, but again, a very low HP Johanna as the fight continues right now. Complexity controlling the bottom tower. Oh, God. Rhaegar gets taken down. In the meantime, Leor down on this temple, soaking up those shots. And Complexity so close to level 10. Also note, the bottom lane, uh, the fort has almost been destroyed here, which is pretty scary. Obviously, when that fort is destroyed, uh, you are spawning stronger waves in that direction, which makes it more of a handful for the opposing team. And, and there we go, the fort does go down now. And that's going to allow uh, you know these other areas of the map, such as mid lane and top lane, to be focused on there by complexity. And as I finish that, another hero takedown. Ooh, Johanna being beaten down. This is getting very tough for Furious yeah. Games. So level 8 to level 11, there's a lot of time when Furious Gaming just is not going to be able to um, engage complexity without being at a fundamental disadvantage. That's right. They really need that heroic ability to be able to fight uh, on par with complexity. They just don't have it yet. So complexity just running the map, getting all their camps, pushing forward, taking these battles. Whoa! And they're really not worried. Oh, look at that! They're taking by Rainer. Rainer. <laughs> It was funny, I was looking at that and I was thinking, is, I wonder if you know she can actually go out that far. <laughs> I think Rainer's gunfire is pretty far, but yeah, uh, nicely done. Rainer does get the shot down there, and that is another takedown there for Complexity. All right, well, right now, Furious Gaming kind of poking into the center now, still fighting quite a bit against their opponents. They've got to be careful about this, though. They are still not level 10, and Complexity is rotated to the top in a strong way. Yeah, this is a very strong wave up here at the north, and I like that they have Leork down here at the bottom, just keeping this lane shoved in. Um, you know, the turrets obviously don't have infinite ammunition, so when you push a lane in enough, it depletes the, uh, the bullets from that turret, which allows you later on to then engage that much more effectively. Well, right now we do see Arthas going to go ahead, clear out this siege camp. They're just kind of rotating around still, clearing out their lanes. Uh, we do have level 10 for Furious oh. Gaming, so definitely something that Complexity has to look out for. We see uh, Leoric now ghosting out, a full-on engagement by Furious Gaming is at level 10. Boy Prism right there, locking in that, and this is going to allow Complexity to then re-engage. And it looks like right now we do have March of the Black King going through everyone. In the meantime, Sonya way on the other side does get taken out there by Arthas. Rainer throwing down his Hyperion, going after uh, the back line right now of Furious Gaming. Jada getting very low, Jada goes down. Meanwhile, rooting there, Johanna being eliminated now. And it's now just one hero remaining, Tyrio, as the mid lane forward goes down. Oh man, absolutely crazy complexity. I'm uh, just gonna rotate down here now, take out this boss, and, and by that the way, is huge. <laughs> that's a really, really early boss uh, to take down there. But hey, I mean, when you take out four players, there's really no way they can contest this. Well, you know, they have to clear out that boss now. We do have most of Furious Gaming up top trying to take the top shrine, but if they take that, they're going to be in trouble. They have to send me down some heroes to deal with this boss. You know, one really good way to just explain this, because we see this a lot in Heroes of the Storm, is if you cause a problem in one place, they can't prevent a problem happening somewhere else. So we see that the shrine is there being taken, but who cares if the boss pushes through there, they're going to end up losing their core. Yeah, well, right now we do see a little bit of a scuffle up near the top part of the map. That boss is still pushing on the bottom, so Complexity wants to fight up here. They want to keep them busy so the boss does as much damage as possible, and it's working like a charm. It's working very effectively. Complexity just keeping Furious Gaming busy. Uh, Complexity right now just backing up. It's okay to not have that shrine as long as that lane still being pushed, and a nice boy prism right there. Oh, this is going to allow them to set up their abilities, combo it, and take out the team. That's right. We do see Joanna going ahead and fall. Falling down, Rhaegar goes down as well. Right now we have Tyrael and Sonya trying to get there, but this bottom <laughs> keep, it's being taken out by the boss, by some sea giants as well. In the meantime, oh, even Jaina falls. Beautiful play there. And now the top tower is being taken, not just boss, but two sea giants pushing into the bottom lane. Literally almost no infrastructure remaining right yeah. now for Furious Gaming. Level 11 to level 15, 
this game is going to be a landslide win right now for Complexi. It really is looking that way. Complexi being up two talent tiers, the 13 talent and the 16 talent, makes it nearly impossible for Furious Gaming to fight them. They are going to have to do some smooth rotations around the map and gain some experience or they're not going to have a chance. And now we see the Hyperion just pushing in here uh, into this top lane. And the problem right now is that when you've lost this many uh, structures, you've also lost a lot of vision on the map. So it, 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 there's not very many ways that you can come out and try to surprise your opponent. In fact, oftentimes you're just at risk of being ambushed if you do try to leave. And we now even see complexity capturing the Bruiser fan here. Uh, that is in the territory of Furious Gaming. That's right. Well, you know, there's almost no territory left for Furious Gaming. They're just destroying all of their buildings. Now they're starting to push towards this top keep. We do have all Furious Gaming here. They're trying to defend against it. They really don't want to lose another keep this early in the game. They're continuing to come in here and crush down whatever's remaining of that wall. And I like this by Complexity, by the way. Complexity that packs their bags and leaves, deciding that they really can't do any more damage. And this is smart. This is safe. You want to know why? Because there's mercenary camps spawning over here on the right side of the map. So why not just go back there, take that, and this game will slowly, um, you know, be Complexity drowning Furious with just the waves of minions crossing the map and crushing their defenses. That's that's right. Look at that mini-map in the bottom right of your screen. Everything is red. All the camps are being taken by Complexity. They have minion waves way far out. They have way more buildings. And all Furious Gaming can do is run back and forth and put out these fires. Oh, nice catch there by Zeratols. Now watch again. This allows Complexity to set up another attack. Um, and it looks like they weren't quite close enough to do it. So they're going to... And actually, Furious Gaming is going to try to re-engage here. We might actually have a takedown here. Raider goes down, but not before activating the Hyperion. That's right, but right now you see Jonna taking lots of damage. Jonna with a nice condemn in there. Still somehow alive. Jonna does end up going down. We have Sonya dealing the damage here as well, but Sonya falls. Arthas going up, getting another takedown, and Furious Gaming with just two heroes remaining. They're on the run right now. Tyrell just trying to get away, and it looks like Tyrell oh. does get the assassination down there by blinking. Um, just south of there. Now level 14 to level 17. Now while that battle was going on and while that was exciting, you can never forget the story of the bottom lane here. Yeah. continuing to be pushed in. Uh, sometimes you have a long battle and it's a bit of a trade, right? Maybe there's one player remaining on each side, but when you do that, nobody's taking care of the bottom lane that's still being pushed towards the core. So that's a really big issue. Yeah. And it's one that, unfortunately for Furious Gaming, they're going to have a very difficult time dealing with. That's right. We do see Sonya going right in here, trying to take this out, but that top lane being pushed as well. Having to clear all this out means they can't even try to battle for that middle temple, which is just putting more damage on the middle keep. There's damage from all sides coming from Complexity. And as we see over here in the center shrine, currently under the uh, you know control here of Complexity, I don't know if your scheme's going to be able to do that much. One thing important to note as well is that this is a map where you don't have to actually physically run up and hit the core to win the game. You can actually fire at it from the temple that you're controlling. That's right. Uh, you know, that does make it pretty hard to get out there and, and hurt your opponents. It makes these Merc camps so much stronger so you can push them around. Looks like they do leave that one for the time being. Coming up here, just trying to get some ganks off. It looks like nice Void Prism going down. We do have Rainer with the Siberian as well. Sonya does fall. And it, it looks like we're up here. He's gaming up against the ropes right now. Complexity continuing to close in. We do have another takedown. That's there are only two heroes remaining right now for Furious Gaming. Jaina and Johanna. And maybe I spoke too soon. Now just Johanna here. Wow. And the core purely exposed to so much damage. I believe that's going to be GG here. As Complexity wins game number one in our best of three series. That is it. Well done by Complexity. GG.